Hi, this is Ricky Lee Jones, and I'm here at Criterion, which is about two floors under heaven for me, so it's a very exciting. And we're going to look at some films. I watch films more than I listen to records. There was one here that's a staple of mine. I watch often called My Man Goffrey. I love William Powell. For a long time, I thought that's a guy I'd like to marry. Just a quiet, well-mannered, neat <laughs> man who drinks himself to sleep. Hedwig. Now, John Cameron Mitchell and I are friends. We live just down the street from each other in New Orleans. And he had uh, given me this his film not too long after he made it. And I was in kind of a bad personal space and it took me a while to see it. And when I saw it, I think I've seen one of the most important performances of the new century. He is so good and I like his wig. This is the complete Monterey Pop Festival. Janice wearing her little mules I'm going like that. She is so cool. Don't say. <laughs> so I imitated everything she did from her clothes to her high heels. This is worth listening to the performances and remembering who we were. The blah. My big sister and her boyfriend went to see this at the drive-in in Phoenix, 1960 maybe, and I was in the front or back seat, and I was scarred forever by the music, which was a Burt Bacharach song, and the uh, and the beginning is spinny, like a you know thing going like that and it's turning around and it's like be careful of the blob it, da, 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 kind of rock and roll thing but I haven't seen it since in my little kid mind be careful of the blob but they um, figured out how to stop it I'm not going to tell you the ending but don't you let your little kid see it even though you think it's not sophisticated anymore it is way too scary for little kids a Taste of Honey. It's a story of a teenage girl whose mother is kind of a teenager as well. She meets a, a gay boy who moves in with her and he's going to take care of her, be her friend. And um, he makes her horrible room beautiful, puts up pictures and curtains and makes her tea and scones. He's an outsider, truly, in, in the world that he lives in. And then that horrible mother comes back, and it's just a glance between them. She walks in and looks at him, and he knows his time's up. And they sing this song. Oh, the good ship sails on the ollie ollie -o, on the ollie ollie -o, on the ollie ollie -o. I was, I still walk around singing that, a kind of children's song, but what it really means is, you don't have a chance. <laughs> I'd like to get a Denzel, because he's one of, if not my favorite actor. So this is Devil in the Blue Dress, based on the Walter Mosley character, Easy Rollins. Very good book, great film. So, how wonderful are films. They tell us the way to go. And we walk after the stories we've heard, and some of us walk in front of them, so people make films after us. But I'd rather watch a little bit of fiction every single day so I can make up my own stories of life, because reality is everywhere, let's face it.